Extra life changer, Dr. Drew Pinsky has been covering this story on his HLN show. Dr. Drew, what do these latest reports tell you about what's going on inside the suspect's mind? Mario, these reports tell me that this man is psychotic. He's not connected to reality. Just because, though, he is psychotic, it's not as though being psychotic really explains the methodical nature of the way this man carried out this horrible tragedy. Well, there are other reports that this guy not only called himself the Joker, but he truly believes he's the character in the movie. Mario, I would not make too much of that. It's the same as if a psychotic patient were to say, hey, I'm Napoleon, and then as Napoleon does dangerous things, they can be grandiose, they can think they're someone they're not, and it's in that illness that causes that kind of crazy thinking. Thank you, Dr. Drew. Body language expert Janine Driver is Skyping from Orlando. Janine, do you think he could just be putting on a show, laying the groundwork for an insanity defense? This behavior is extremely suspicious. There is more to the story here. It is possibly an act, or it's simply him realizing that he got himself in a lot of trouble. Yeah, so much trouble. Thank you, Janine. There's no doubt in my mind they're going to go for insanity. However, I don't think it will stick, primarily because of the three months of planning. They would have to prove that for three or four months, this man every day could not tell the difference between right and wrong, and there's no way that's going to stick. You know, lawyers and doctors have completely different ways of looking at this. Insanity from a legal standpoint is the ability to tell the difference between right and wrong. For doctors, we talk about being disconnected from reality, being psychotic, thinking things are happening that are not happening. Denise Plant with Denver's KOSI is on the scene. Denise, is it true he's getting death threats? That's what we hear. That's why he's being held in solitary confinement. I am with former FBI agents Tim and Jim Clemente. Does someone just snap at one point? The type of personality is typically called an injustice collector. Things that he perceived as slights against him. It's a pressure cooker, that, mm. that type of personality. Just waiting for the opportunity to let it all out. And the fact that he gave up meant that he wanted to be alive to enjoy this infamy. Yeah. He wanted to get famous and he wanted to sit back and enjoy it. That was what was important to him. Thank you for watching Extra on YouTube. And for 24 for seven updates on celebrity news, subscribe to our channel here, like us on Facebook here, or follow us on Twitter here. And if you <laughs> want your voice heard, leave a comment below. Where? Right there. <laughs>